I am Joseph George. In this video, I explain what is new physics and its relevance. The release of energy associated with the mass defect mostly appears as the kinetic energy of the products, reaction products. For example, when a uranium-238 decays an alpha particle, the alpha particle travels almost 6% of the speed of light and the thorium-234 recoil uh, in the opposite, just opposite direction. If you see this phenomenon through the lens of the conservation of energy and momentum, it leads to the possibility that perhaps there is an internal explosion happening with this radioactivity. So it has a huge significance in the understanding of the, uh, how nuclear energy is released. In any nuclear reaction, the energy mostly released as the form of the kinetic energy of the reaction products. Mass defect is a universally occurring phenomenon. For example, every active charge in the universe, supernova explosions, black hole mergers, rotor collisions, all these events create mass defects on a large scale. So if that is the case, the entire universe may be filled with this type of matter. This contradicts the mass energy equivalence principle by Einstein, which says that mass can be converted into energy and vice versa. However, we see the possibility that perhaps mass effect is explosively transformed into a, another form of matter. If space is filled with a type of matter, this can provide a new explanation for starlight bending and a gravitational lensing and the procession of the perihelion of the Mercury's orbit, etc. These phenomena, starlight bending, gravitational lensing, orbi orbital behavior of the Mercury's orbit, today is considered as the evidence for the general relativity, which says that mass and energy creates curvature in space-time. According to general relativity, gravity is considered as the curvature of space-time by mass and energy. However, the space will matter can provide new explanation for uh, this starlight bending, gravitational lensing, precession of the perihelion of Mercury's orbit, etc. As a form of matter, the space will matter will be attracted by massy body such as the sun. The density will be high near the body and it decreases the distance. So when a beam of light passes through this region of space, it will refract and bend. This can explain starlight bending and gravitational lensing. Since the, the sun has a dense region of space filling matter around it, the closest uh, planet, the Mercury, when it approaches the perihelion region, the, the, dense, the dense region of the space filling matter can influence its, uh, its orbit. So this can explain the uh, precession of the perihelion of, of Mercury's orbit. So if there is a space filling substance exist, it can pro provide alternate explanation for all these phenomena.